From WKRG News 5, the Gulf Coast News Leader, the news starts now. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Mel Showers. Roseanne Haven has the night off. First on five, an undercover Mobile police officer and an attempted murder suspect are still in the USA Medical Center tonight in critical but stable condition after being shot multiple times this morning in Grand Bay. The undercover drug operation turned chaotic at the Waffle House parking lot in Grand Bay just off Interstate 10 around 2.30 this morning. An officer in an unmarked car flashed his lights trying to get the attention of a man on his motorcycle. The man identified as 32-year-old Ryan Burkhart fled the scene and led police on a short chase that ended with him wrecking out across the street at a truck stop. Officers went to arrest him, and that's when bullets were fired. News 5's Alan Carter joins us now live from Mobile Police Headquarters with the latest on the investigation. Well, Mel, this case part of an evolving threat. Police say they are under coming into suspects who they say they are not only more aggressive, but also more armed. There's an inherent risk with being a police officer, and Chief James Barber knows that. But you still never want that call. He got around 2.30 this morning. We could have had an officer killed, um, but we're very fortunate we didn't. Uh, we are unfortunate in the fact that we did have an officer very seriously injured in this incident. One officer still in the hospital, the result of an operation in Grand Bay, an undercover buy of drugs and guns with this guy. Ryan Burkhart. Ryan Burkhart attempted to elude police on a motorcycle. This unidentified witness watched it happen. And then all of a sudden the SUV turned on blue lights and then two cars came from the back of the parking lot with blue lights on and the motorcycle like zipped around the SUV out into the road. Eventually losing control of the motorcycle which put it out on foot in a foot pursuit. Five officers were able to catch up to him. Uh, where they, he was wrestled to the ground. It was when officers were trying to arrest him that the guns came out. A total of about 20 rounds exchanged between the officers and the suspect in this case. The officer hit twice below his vest. Burkhart shot several times, but he too was wearing body armor. This guy was certainly prepared for violence. When you look at this particular case and you see this guy prepared with body armor and carrying semi-automatic weapon with extra magazines, it shows you some of the threats police officers face in the street today. Uh, and they're very significant. We're dealing with a more sophisticated criminal uh, that certainly wears much the same equipment that we are and harm very much the same way. Both the officer and the suspect are in critical but stable condition, but Burkhart has a number of charges waiting if he makes it. Uh, right now, the charges that we have against this suspect are five counts of attempted murder, also attempt to elude police, and also certain person forbidden to carry a firearm. And police did seize guns, drugs, and cash. They also served a search warrant at another location, the suspect's residence, where they arrested another individual on drug charges in connection to this case. However, their name has not been released. Reporting live at Mobile Police Headquarters, Alan Carter, News 5.